that you're with us on this Monday edition of Take 5 of the Journey. And uh, this scripture um, took a while for me to really get a hold of and to really be able to say, and I can't say I'm a 1,000% on it, but I'm closer than I was two weeks ago or two years ago. This is found in James 3, verse 3. We put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us, or that we actually put a control upon our words. You know, most of the time when we get mad, you know what we do? We talk. We say things. It probably destroys relationships worse than anything else. There's things uh, that, that are said that lingers on for years, just one statement. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's a lie. That is a lie. Words hurt. Words count. And you know why it says that they put this bit actually own one horse and I love horses but it's a you know you take a thousand twelve hundred pound animal and you put this little thing about the size of my finger in its mouth and that controls that whole big animal just that bit and it's it's like this self, God has given us the ability of self-control it's a fruit of the spirit the best thing for you to learn is this you get it and something gets heated in your family best thing for you to do is not say anything you need to get up to say hey time out a second walk around the house take a drive just don't say anything because I'm going to tell you what you may regret those words and you'll talk for days and weeks and years to try to bring them back and I want to encourage you hold have that self-control of your words watch what you say don't get self-satisfaction on beating someone down with your words or telling them off. It just doesn't pay off. It's something that we come to regret. And so get some self-control. Ask God to help you. Remind yourself that you're going into a situation that could be very heated. And so you want to have control of your words and not allow things to destroy relationships for the rest of your life. I love you. I want you to say to yourself this day, God is a good God and the devil's a bad devil.